we have studied about the various laws which were proposed by Mendel while he conducted experiments on the pea plant. And these experiments helped a great deal in our understanding of the pattern of inheritance and how the traits are passed from one generation to another. Now, however, when he conducted study or it was observed later on, that there are certain plants which do not obey the laws, laws of Mendel. So here we are going to study certain concepts and which are actually the deviations from Mendelism. So here is the first one that is the incomplete dominance, co-dominance, multiple allelism, pleiotropy and polygenic inheritance. All these phenomena are actually not following the pattern of Mendel or the rules or laid by the Mendel during his time. So we are going to start first with the incomplete dominance. As the name is suggesting, incomplete dominance means that the dominant gene is not able to express itself completely and therefore the name incomplete dominance. Now here, None of the two alleles of a gene are dominant over each other and both the alleles, although they are present together, they are producing a new phenotype and that new phenotype is different from the original one. Let us understand this. We know that each of the character or a trait or the phenotype is governed by a pair of allele. Now this allelic pair is responsible for a certain trait. Out of this allelic pair, one of the gene is contributed by the mother or the maternal side and one is contributed by either of the two parents that is the parental side. Oh sorry, this is mother and this is let's say father side. Or we can say both the parents contribute in the formation of an allelic pair. Now this allelic pair controls or is regulating a particular trait. It is due to the production of certain type of enzymes which actually enable the synthesis of a protein. Now here in this case alleles are present together but both the alleles are not dominant over each other especially we see this in the case of snapdragon or aranium and this same is also seen in four o'clock plant or mirabilis jalapa that is four o'clock plant Now, these plants show incomplete dominance. Let us study how. Now, suppose we have a plant that is, let us talk of snapdragon as an example. Snapdragon has two type of flowers, that is red flower and white flower. So, we have a homozygous, this is homozygous red flower over here and it is crossed with a homozygous recessive which is white flower. When these plants were crossed that is a homozygous red or pure red red was crossed with a homozygous white or pure recessive the resulting progeny that is R and R or F1 generation or the first period generation were all red. Now this was following the normal Mendelian order or the Mendelian law. When this was selfed or on selfing, 
it produced the gametes and arranging these gametes within the purine square we get R and R over here, capital R and small r over here. We already know that capital R is a dominant gene and a small r is recessive gene for the trait that is flower color. Now when the second generation that is F2 generation it was found in the Punit square. Now let us recall what was the Mendelian law or Mendelian ratio. The Mendelian ratio as proposed by Mendel for the monohybrid cross since it is one trait we are studying for the monohybrid cross it was phenotype ratio was 3 is to 1 whereas the genotype ratio was 1 is to 2 is to 1. That means 3 tall and 1 dwarf and over here because he conducted experiments on tall and dwarf plants and over here 1 homozygous tall, 2 heterozygous tall and 1 homozygous recessive or dwarf. This was the normal Mendelian ratio. Now let us come on this. Here the plants were crossed that F1 generation on selfing produced F2 generation. Now when the study was conducted, it was observed that the phenotype ratio or the, the plants which were obtained over here were 1 red, 2 pink and 1 white. This was the observation. So the genetic composition was one phenotype that is this is representing as one red is to two heterozygous pink and one homozygous recessive. So the phenotype ratio in the incomplete dominance is 1 is to 2 is to 1, whereas the genotype ratio remains the same. That is 1 is to 2 is to 1, because 1 is pure homozygous red, 2 heterozygous over here, genotype combination, and 1 homozygous recessive. So as you can see from the Mendelian law or the Mendelian ratio, in the case of monohybrid cross, the phenotype ratio has changed. It, is, it should be 3 is to 1, but here the phenotype ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. And the genotype ratio remains the same. So the genotype ratio in the incomplete dominance remains the same, whereas the phenotype ratio changes. Now, phenotype we know is the morphological or the observable trait. Now, why this is happening? Now, this is because we know that each of the trait is governed by a pair of allele and out of which one allele which is dominant, that means one which produces the enzyme is completely taken uh, over by the recessive. That means it completely takes over the recessive gene and expresses itself in the heterozygous condition. But if the homozygous condition is there, both the genes are contributing in the expression of a trait. Now, in the case of a hetero, if the condition is homozygous, then both the genes are expressing itself normal. But in the heterozygous condition, let's talk of this condition. One of the gene is dominant and it will produce the normal enzyme which acts on substrate and 
can result into a particular trait. That is the expression of a trait. That will be the gene. This gene, however, normal, the recessive gene, may be sometimes slightly modified. And this modified gene, now, this is a modified gene. So, modified gene, may now produce either the less enzyme or it may produce non-functional enzyme or it may not produce enzyme at all. So there are three situations what a modified gene can express for. Modified gene may produce less enzyme due to slight modifications in its structure. Then it may produce non-functional enzyme. The fun enzyme is not at all functioning or it may cause or it may produce no enzyme at all. In the first situation when it produces that means the modified gene is producing less enzyme but the other allele is producing the normal enzyme, then in such a case, the expression or the there is no change in the phenotype. But if the modified gene produces non-functional enzyme and no enzyme at all, then it results into the production of a different phenotype. So here, in this case, over here, both the genes are expressing and none of the gene is dominant over the other and therefore we are getting pink colored flowers. Red is not able to completely express itself, white is not able to completely express itself and therefore we are getting two pink color flowers. So this is incomplete dominance and it is a very a major deviation from the Mendelian laws where the phenotype ratio instead of 3 is to 1 is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and we are going to study about the other deviations in our subsequent videos.